Hello and welcome to the twelfth episode of Random Musings. Uh, at the risk of sounding repetitive, I would say that the next guest is very special. But uh, today's guest is actually very very special because even before I started the series Random Musings, there were very few people that I discussed the idea with, and uh, today's guest is one of them uh, who has been very excited about being a part of the series even before the series started, and uh, and not just one of India's well known, most well known. One of the best, most talented actresses I know, but also a very, very dear friend of mine. Give it up for Manvi Gagru. Hi, hi, hi. What's up? Hi, Manvi. Hi, welcome to uh, Random Musings. I am special. Yes. Yes, I agree. Cool, uh, Manvi. As I said uh, to our audience and viewers, that uh, we had this conversation even before Random Musings started, and one of the first topics that we had discussed then. Uh, because the whole idea of random musings is to talk about things that we don't talk about very often, and I'm sure as an actor you talked a lot about acting and like the world of movies and web series etc etc. But we'll try and avoid all that, and we'll focus on some hitherto unsaid topics. I know that one of the topics which is very close to your heart is the topic of psychology, and I know that you read about psychology a lot. It has, uh, so to speak, shaped your life a lot, uh, whether it's Freudian. Philosophies or many other uh, psychologists from the past. So let's start from there. I'll let you talk about how uh, sort of the concepts of psychology have impacted your life, and how do you feel that psychology forms a very important part of life, of your life, our life. Sometimes we don't even realize uh, some of our actions and behaviors are actually shaped from our childhood or from things that we are unaware of. But obviously, you will talk much better about it. So I'll I'll pass on the mic to you and let you talk about psychology. No, so like you said, most of the times we don't even realize when we're behaving or talking or being like uh, psychology would tell us. I remember when I was in sixth to seventh grade, I'd randomly ask my parents that, "What is it called when you want to study people and like observe people or whatever?" Because I want to do something with people. And that time, my uh, my parents told me that, "Oh, psychology," and I was like, "Oh, okay, then that's what I want to become—a psychologist and stuff." But that was again very like in passing. I didn't really. ऐसा कुछ नहीं आई डेंट इवन नो वॉट साइकोलॉजी वॉज आर सच वी डेंट हैव साइकोलॉजी इन स्कूल आई रिमेंबर देन वेन इट केम टू इलेवन स्टैंडर्ड एंड वी हैव टू चूज अ स्ट्रीम तो आई आई एक्चुअली रियली रियली वॉन्टेड टू स्टडी मेडिसिन आई हैव ऑलवेज बिन अ बिग फैन ऑफ ह्यूमन एनाटमी एंड जस्ट मेडिसिन एंड ऑल ऑफ दैट एंड बट आई रियलाइज दैट बहुत बहुत पढ़ना पड़ेगा दैट बारह साल लग जाएंगे एंड देन यू बिकम अ डॉक्टर यू नो एंड एंड दिस इज ओनली like a basic md doctor or whatever so i was like nahi nahi mai itna and i have i have cousins who are doctors and i was like nahi nahi mai and ko dekha hai padhte hue i said i don't have it in me i don't want to study so much uh, so i wanted to take up psychology in 11th but that was then i would have had to take humanities and there was this big bawal at home that humanities nahi 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 science science and ye wo and we used to have these aptitude tests that tell you what stream to choose and stuff तो उसमें भी साइंस ही आया था मेरा एंड माय पेरेंट्स और लाइक ऐसे थोड़ी एंड यू नो वट एवर सो दे एंड दैट्स अगेन वन ऑफ द डिसीजन दैर आई एम ग्लैड माय पेरेंट्स फोर्स्ट मी टू टेक बिकॉज आई सो आई हैड साइंस विद बायो एंड मैथ सो बायोलॉजी रियली हेल्प मी विद साइकोलॉजी आल्सो यू नो देन व्हेन आई जॉइन देन फाइनली इन कॉलेज आई स्टार्टेड स्टडिंग साइकोलॉजी एंड आई वाज डूइंग साइकोलॉजी ऑनर्स एंड आई जस्ट लव्ड इट लाइक इट चेंज्ड माय वर्ल्ड व्यू and it's really funny kavi that i was a horrible person okay like i was a very bad person in school like i was the mean girls plastics linse lohan i was that girl like i used to walk around judging everybody and and we used to have this um, like on thursdays na we used to not have assembly so us din uh, uniform nahi check hoti thi and i <laughs> i remember so we used to wear wrong shoes we used to wear branded shoes otherwise we weren't allowed to wear branded shoes we used to wear branded shoes and i was a kind of person who if somebody was not wearing branded shoes i would judge them you know so um, and then when i came to college and i started studying psychology and everything and i realized that there's so much that we don't know we don't even know ourselves the kind of things that shape us as traits personality traits our behavior patterns are you know all of these things and most of it is beyond our control because again now coming to freud uh, so freud's thing is that your core personality is formed in the first 5 years of your life and that's something that i've really come to believe again i have no um i haven't raised a child so i don't know i haven't i i can't even speak for myself because i don't remember things from when i was that old uh, or that young whatever so but this is just something that i truly believe because i told you right like so freud ka kya hai na they have like he has this thing called psychosexual stages 
and every stage uh, you have if you get stuck in that phase so you can either get overstuck or understuck to put it in layman terms mm -hmm. and if you get stuck either of the two over under then you're it's kind of like a fixation and then you can see traces and residual of that in your adult personality mm -hmm. and i see that to be very true uh, to me ko bahut maza aata hai when i meet somebody new na and i'm like and then i'll just be like were, were your parents working Were your, were your, was your mother working? At what age? Uh, are you the younger child? Are you the, are you the older child? And they think that I'm going to come up with a psychoanalytic tool for them. But I'm just, it's just in my head, I'm profiling them, which is also uh, not the best thing to do. So for example, uh, I'll tell you Freud, ka, uh, like the first stage is oral stage. Okay, which, which is basically when the child is uh, being breastfed or whatever, like bottle fed. so there uh, the child's main contact with the world is through the mouth and uh, and that's the pleasure point you know uh, whether it's eating whether it's sucking its thumb whether whatever so uh, it's that's the pleasure point and if you get if you get fixated there you become orally fixated characters which i think most of us in this field are and the signs of that are that we are foodies we are talkative we are what a good kissers uh, <laughs> and uh, and we have usually have a colorful language and so all these things so i see that and i'm like i get very fascinated by um, like the freudian theory the one criticism with freud the biggest criticism is that uh, it's over sexualized but uska mera manna hai that uh, i i think that when this is again this is all my interpretation ha huh, by the way i mean there's no there's absolutely no validity to this like ac academic validity for example sex ka mai bol rahi thi so people think that it's overly sexualized and he just keeps talking about sex but i feel that what freud meant as sex is not it's not what we i mean it's not just intercourse or coitus or whatever it was just this concept of eros and thanatos you know the life and death life force and death force so a uh, sex is the highest form of life force or uh, i mean that's what he meant the highest form of life force he defined it as sex and the highest form of pleasure derived from that uh, is the um, is like a sexual pleasure or whatever and uh, and that i kind of believe in and uh, so that was one and of course there are certain things i don't agree with like um, i do think thoda there was more focus on men and the women were kind of like concepts like penis envy and you know whatever whatever so they have been refuted and rightly so in my opinion and yeah so for me i think psychology changed me as a person it just um, made me more empathetic as a person i started uh, i mean i just stopped judging people it wasn't overnight obviously it was a gradual process but i consider myself a student of psychology for life like i i try to uh, read up on the latest research um gender studies is something that i am very interested in like what's happening in in gender studies recently or whatever so um yeah so that's that's like i'm very passionate about psychology and i can tell you more but i then it will become a five hour special <laughs> <laughs> okay uh one criticism uh, that you said about freud is that it focused a lot on men okay mm -hmm. and then you also said that you are really interested into gender studies and uh, the year 2021 and over the last many years feminism has become a topic which is discussed a lot in social media and and everywhere else um so i'm really curious to talk about that with you because uh, i know you have very strong opinions about uh feminism and uh, some misconceptions around feminism and how uh, people look at feminism nowadays and it's a topic very very uh, uh relevant so to speak and also uh, off discussed everywhere uh so i can't i can't wait for you to sort of share your opinion and or your viewpoints on feminism settle down <laughs> okay i'm going to start <laughs> okay uh, so nahi nee, but uh, yaar yeah, like i can't believe kv that till till date like even today with my friends okay if i mean in my circle of people i still have to explain what feminism is that it is not uh, male bashing that it is not superiority of the female gender it is just fucking equality man like that's all that's all it is mm -hmm. and uh, and i don't know and boy you know that the world has been founded by Uh, or whatever the world as we know it, or the or society, or whatever the rights and the wrongs, and you know all the all these things are founded by men. So everything, good and bad, 
uh, is through that lens. And so, uh, so we need to first understand that, acknowledge that, and only then can we move forward, right? Uh, so, um, like, Abibi, with my friends, I have to tell them, um, like the other day, some I something, you know, like we were sitting in a group and I told somebody, somebody like said something really inappropriate in my opinion. And I got a little like uncomfortable and I was like, and wo dost hai mere, you know, so I, I thought it's even better, like, you know, mere dost hai, so they will get it like when I tell them and I should be able to tell them. So I was just like, yaar, aise mat bolo, yaar. it's a little, it's a little weird. Okay. And they just jumped on me. They were like, Are, they felt attacked. And I don't, I don't get that. Like, I, I don't get why when your bad behavior is being called out and I'm not even attacking, I'm not even calling it out in a way ki, you know, uh, abe, what a sexist to art. I'm just saying it uh, with empathy that, you know, hey, because I know we all have blind spots. I also have blind spots. Everybody has blind spots, right? Because we're all learning. These are all, we're all works in progress. So, uh, and, and I would want my friends, I would want people who are close to me to call out things that, um, you know, that, that are uh, problematic or behavior that is problematic or something, you know, I would love that. That's how I'll grow. That's how I'll keep in check. So I then they were like, Ki, oh, do you want us to, you know, uh, and uh, you uh, should we walk on eggshells around you? And I was like, I was like, uh, firstly, it's not just me, ideally uh, be, I'm talking about these are good manners, you know? So ideally we have good manners with everyone, Matlab, not just me or just women, just everybody. But yes, if it, if it bothers you, if it feels like walking on eggshells, then, uh, um, then, you know, then do it just with me. If, if it makes it makes your life easier. And the other thing is that I was like, okay, so you're saying, uh, I was like, of course, I don't want you to walk on eggshells around me. But do you want me to be uncomfortable around you? Do you want me to not be able to tell you what I'm thinking or, or want to say? And then they were like, ki nahi yaar, ye ki. you know, for us, you're not, you're not like a girl girl, you know, you're like one of the boys and you know, you're like, for me, you're like this guy, you know, we're all the same. And I was like, yeah, you can say that because you're a guy. It's like, it's like when, you know, when, when uh, 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 a Savarna says that uh, I don't see caste. Yeah. Or, uh, you know, or, 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 or a white, white guy says that I don't see race or I don't see color. Yeah. So, you know, it's that because you, you are privileged or, uh, it, and I was telling them, I had to give them basic examples. Yeah. I was like, yeah, you have, I mean, you know, when I'm leaving your place, you will tell me na, ke ghar ja ke ek bar message kar yeah. you don't tell a guy friend of yours. Right. So there is a difference. There is a difference. And you're acknowledging that. And, and of course, this difference is, again, because it's unsafe for women, because it's uh, whatever, that's a different thing altogether. And same, same with the industry. Uh, I feel, uh, I mean, and, and understandably so, because industry, maybe we're all part of the same pool, the same society, and, and um, it's a random selection of people. So uh, some will be feminist, some won't be, some will be sexist, some will be whatever, you know, um, whatever you, some will be intelligent, some will be funny, some will not be, some will be not creative, whatever, there's, there'll always be a mixed bunch. So, um, and now up according to people, anything with a female protagonist is feminist, is a feminist film, which is not the case, because if you're still showing that you're female, even if you have a female protagonist, but she's this meek character who doesn't have the agency of choice, who doesn't have uh, the the agency to lead her life the way she wants to. It's not a feminist uh, story. Again, I'm not saying that only feminist stories should be made, but uh, if you're not, if you're making a sexist film, then be aware that you're making a sexist film. And by the way, for me, the op the opposite of feminist is sexist, because mm -hmm. if you if you see sexist as like if you are discriminating on the basis of gender, then you are sexist, and if you don't then you're feminist, you know, because then for you, all genders are the same. And uh, yeah, so I just sometimes I have these really frustrating conversations, conversations and, and I feel that anyway, I can't change the world, correct? I've come to that realization uh, the hard way that I can't change the world. I can't, um, my, my one tweet is not going to mean shit. Like, you know, I mean, Twitter pe dunia nahi badalti hai. So, uh, dunia badlegi aapke aas You can choose your five, six set of people who you want to spend your time with and uh, spend your energies with or whatever. And unko hi main matlab sikha sakti hu. But when, then I feel 
एक तो आई एम सराउंडेड बाय बाय दीज नो ऑफेंस के वी बाय दीज इंजीनियरिंग बॉयज ओके आई लाइक टू कॉल देम लॉन्डास दैट्स माय दैट देयर लॉन्डास दे आर नॉट दे आर नॉट आई मीन ऑफ कोर्स आई एम आई एम ग्रॉसली जनरलाइजिंग एंड आई डोंट विश टू बट माय माय थिंग इज दैट ये बॉयज हॉस्टल से निकल जाओ यार लाइक हो गया बॉयज बॉयज हॉस्टल वाली जिंदगी जी ली है तुमने द वर्ल्ड इज नॉट अ बॉयज हॉस्टल so how but i just want people to be aware of these things and just keep these in mind and again like, nahi it won't change overnight it and and we'll we'll still make mistakes but it's okay just say sorry and move on like it doesn't have to be such a big thing and uh, like you know it doesn't have to spoil relationships but uh, but yeah people feel attacked and people feel threatened and ki are mujhe kaise bol diya mujhe kaise sexist bol diya relax matlab you know sexist nahi bol rahe but we are just saying मतलब यू नो वी ऑल नीड वर्क एंड वी नीड टू ग्रो एंड ऑल दैट तो ये है मेरी कहानी इफ आई हैव टू समराइज मानवी टू से आई टेक योर एग्जांपल ऑफ अ लॉन्डा और इंजीनियरिंग हॉस्टल बॉयज हॉस्टल गाइस एंड इफ यू हैव टू टेल दैट पर्सन जस्ट सर्टेन डूज एंड डोंट्स अकॉर्डिंग टू यू whether you call it good manners or whether you just call them being normal uh what would those be if you have to like if i have to make a ppt bullet slide bullet point slide what do you think are some of the advices that you would give to uh to someone you do think that needs advice you know it's not a criticism it's just huh. that lack of exposure or sometimes as you rightly said there are people who have not been exposed to enough female presence or have not been exposed to uh just good manners uh so what do you like if you have to just summarize everything that you said and it is mostly that it is mostly out of lack of exposure or just lack of interaction with the opposite sex yeah so your bullet points um yeah one would be that before you ask a girl or say something to a girl um ask yourself in your head if you would um, be if you would ask a guy the same thing hmm. um again like i remember somebody once uh, i was in a party and i was drinking or something and somebody came and said oh you know you shouldn't drink so much or something something like that and i random guy ek to i don't know how people get the 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 balls or the or, or the guts to actually come up to someone you don't know and give an opinion randomly like this and i was looking at him saying what why and he i and make a maza aata hai kai baar to indulge sometimes i'm just like off and sometimes i'm like okay let's see where this goes so i'm like why and he's like you know it's not good uh, when you when when you get pregnant it's not good uh, something like that he said i said first of all not pregnant right now <laughs> you know when i am pregnant and tab karenge na matlab ye aur aur mujhse pooch to lo do i want to be pregnant do i matlab ye kahan kya kahan se aa gaye tum kaun ho tum you know so um so one is that ki will you will you say that to a guy um the other thing is that the minute you um like i if if i'm sitting in a meeting and somebody walks in the first thing i notice about them is not gender i i'm not like oh ladka hai ya ladki hai you know it's just like hey come in or whatever and then depend of course i obviously i can see it with my own eyes and there will be a subconscious registration of that that you know this is a guy or a girl but um a uh, ladko ka i have seen that they will i mean there is a thing of ki oh girl has walked in now whatever that means to them to different people it means different things somebody will straighten up somebody will be suddenly very conscious somebody will be um somebody will just be like oh you know ek ek aur aagi ladki or whatever just treat them like people just they're not they're not goddesses they are not uh, whatever they are not yours to protect um Uh, they are not yours to um like again i i was talking to somebody about this whole um thing of you know women being in parda or burkha or hijab whatever and and they said that you know hamare hum you know ghar ka jo khazana hota hai wo aap tijori mein rakhte ho aap bahar nahi rakhte and i was like did you just compare women to khaz- to tijori and khazana and you know i was like you realize that you are comparing women to an inanimate object yeah. whatever that how however price uh, priceless or whatever expensive that might be but you just comp- so i'm just saying they treat us like humans you know treat us like human beings we are not matlab hame bhagwan mat hame don't put us on a pedestal don't put us uh, in 
मतलब वट एवर यू नो ऐसा ऑब्वियसली पुटस ऑन लो पेड स्टिल ईदर जस्ट लाइक पुटस लाइक जस्ट नॉर्मल रखो यार एंड एंड थर्ड फोर्थली so you know this thing of don't don't speak on our behalf mm-hmm. okay like don't say what is right for women what is not ye mujhe aisi ladkiyan pasand hai mujhe aisi ladkiyan pasand nahi but whatever chalo i mean that's still your personal thing but don't say ki ladkiyan ye ladkiyon ke liye acha hoga tumhe nahi pata lad tum firstly ladkiyan are not a monolithic group mm-hmm. you know aisa har ladki ek nahi hoti hai just like we can't say ye ladkon ke liye acha hai ya ye ladkon ke liye bura hai mm-hmm. some guys are like this some guys are like that some whatever they all types of people right सिमिलरली तो वो मतलब डोंट ट्रीट देम लाइक इट्स आई मीन यू कैन जस्ट लड़की मतलब लड़की के नॉट बी आर ओनली आइडेंटिटी राइट वी हैव पर्सनैलिटीज वी हैव इंडिविजुअलिटीज वी हैव वी हैव ट्रेट्स वी हैव गुड ट्रेट्स बैड ट्रेट्स यू नो वट एवर वील फंबर लाइक नॉर्मल पीपल यू नो सो या सो जस्ट ट्रीट अस लाइक नॉर्मल ह्यूमन बींग्स मैन मनवी वन ऑफ द थिंग्स दैट वन ऑफ द रिकरिंग थॉट्स दैट हैव सीन इन योर लास्ट टू uh topics is that you said that we all change with time you know our views change we learn because we get more exposure or our lifestyle changes our situation circumstances change and i'm sure with you also you would have gone through a certain journey especially uh you grew up in delhi and then you moved to bombay uh, uh alone uh, and you started a uh, life from scratch so to speak in a new city with new ambition new career ambition and uh, spent uh, time in this completely alien territory so to speak like you were growing up studying in delhi university and right now and then you're in bombay in the lane for vandheri and varsova uh, with casting aram nagar and aram nagar and rehearsal and etc 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 so i'm sure age obviously plays a, a part but also this whole uh, thing of living alone like outside the cocoon of your comfort zone your parents and that uh, the the you know the the nice uh, uh, you know it's it's that comfort zone that you leave and move to a new city so i want to talk about like uh, how this you know in your life how what role did this uh, change from not just bombay to uh, sorry not just from delhi to bombay but also with age with time we all got mature um did your viewpoints change did your life change and especially i want to know about uh, this whole journey of being alone and making a career out of scratch and a successful career so to speak so yes of course of course it has changed me it has shaped the person i am today um uh, 180 degrees and like i said i was a very bad person in mm-hmm. in school through college i started kind of changing whatever and then when i moved to bombay uh and like you said it was kind of starting with scratch uh, fr- from scratch right because i didn't i didn't know anybody here i i had done one show dhoom macha or dhoom uh disney ka so i knew people from there mm-hmm. and um, but that's about it and and mera to kya hua tha amras this this film my first film had released and usme tha uh, the all of the film didn't do well but i uh, every review had mentioned my name okay so for me that was uh like a big win and i thought ki ab to sorted hai ab main jaungi bombay and i say like producer ki line lagi hogi you know and of course i fell flat on my face because aisa kuch nahi tha and uh, that's when i realized ki uh, reviews don't matter your <laughs> agar film chali hai to hi it matters and if people saw it and all of that so um there were times kv that i so in in the initial 2 3 years i took money from family like i was like you know please uh, aur mujhko आराम की आदत थी राइट सो सो आई डेंट वॉन्ट टू इवन स्लग इट आउट लाइक आई डेंट वॉन्ट टू आई डेंट वॉन्ट टू स्टे इन अ वेरी स्मॉल अपार्टमेंट एंड हैव वड़ा पाओ और गो टू एंड मतलब ओनली हैव वड़ा पाओ एंड गो टू स्लीप हंगरी एंड नॉट नॉट पार्टी एंड यू नो लाइक मतलब इतने शौक भी पाल रखे हैं यू नो सो I wanted to do that. My parents also encouraged me. Ki nahi nahi ha, you know, you continue with that, and because they wanted a sense of normalcy for me, because they were like already she's been uprooted from her uh, comfort zone and you know her environment, her ecosystem and everything. And then, um, but I remember uh, there was this time when I was traveling. But obviously, although I was taking money from family. i was also answerable for that money right i mean i couldn't just keep asking for money like uh, money every 10 days or something so i remember i used to go to town for rehearsals and i used to take uh, the train 
और मुझे याद है एक बार ट्रेन में इट वॉज जस्ट वन ऑफ दोज बैड डेज अदरवाइज आई हैड द वन ऑफ द बेस्ट एक्सपीरियंसिस इन ट्रेन लाइक एंड आई थिंक बॉम्बे पीपल आर जस्ट लाइक लाइक अमेजिंग यू नो बट बट आई थिंक उस दिन कुछ हुआ होगा या आई वॉज ऑल इट मस्ट बीन इन अ बैड मूड और वट एवर एंड मैं बैठी आई वॉज इन द लेडीज कंपार्टमेंट एंड आई वॉज सिटिंग एंड मैं पूरी टाइम खड़ी थी एंड समबडी लेफ्ट एंड देन फाइनली आई गॉट टू सेट एंड आई सैट एंड आई जस्ट स्टार्टेड क्राइम and uh, and i was and in my head i was just thinking i'm like kyun aayi mai yaar why why what was going like in what was i thinking to have left all those comforts and come to uh, bombay or a different city and uh, i'm i'm in a train and you know and i'm just thinking i'm and i think barish ho rahi thi so you know whatever i'm like jagah bhi nahi mil rahi hai khade hone ki and i'm matlab baithne ki and i'm crying and and then you know there were these women around me they were like what happened like there was this one older lady and she was like beta kya hua and and this one girl uh, like a younger girl and she's looking at me and she's like is this your first time in a train i'm like no i've been traveling but i don't know you know so uh, it changes you and for the better i feel um it's also like uh, so if you it's a stimulus and reaction thing right so uh, for your reaction to change or for for you to change the stimuli has to change mm-hmm. and if uh, Uh, or the or the or or the catalyst has to change right i mean there has to be one of the two mm-hmm. otherwise you will keep getting the same result so um, and how else do you change your stimuli like and i've seen this with my friend uh, the, uh, like this one friend of mine who my school friend and a very close friend of mine who continued staying in delhi uh, post uh, school college and i and i when i after mo- i moved to bombay mujhe 5 saal ho gaye or something and i realized that her issues are the same यू नो बिकॉज ऑब्वियसली ना मतलब जब प्रॉब्लम्स भी सेम है इश्यूज भी सेम है और सब कुछ ही सेम है एंड आई वॉज लाइक वो अभी भी मतलब उसका फैमिली रिलेटेड इशूज हैं या झूठ बोल के जा रही है घर से यू नो दैट यू नो वट एवर ऑल दीज थिंग्स एंड एंड देन शी मूव टू बॉम्बे एंड एंड इट चेंज फॉर हर एंड यू नो सडनली आई वॉज ऑल्सो बींग एबल टू कनेक्ट विद हर एट अ डिफरेंट लेवल एंड एंड देन वेन शी मूव बैक टू डेली शी वॉज अ डिफरेंट पर्सन so there's that there's that share also i don't know um, who it's by but there's this share which says that um, manzil milegi zarur bhatakte hi sahi uh, gumrah to wo hai jo kabhi ghar se nikle hi nahi ye mujhe bahut sahi lagta hai ki yaar you have to you have to get out of um, i mean i'm i'm saying literally you have to get out of your house and you know your uh, com- your 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 family and your ecosystem and all of that just so you get exposed to things to people to world views to perceptions and uh, perspectives and uh, and metaphorically ki uh, agar tum try hi nahi karoge to kaise mm-hmm. matlab kaise pata lagega ki uska experience kya hai and and i genuinely feel it kv that's all there is to life experience matlab aur kya hai you know like kuch nahi hai aur you know you can um it's just these it's it's these moments these uh, yahi baatein to baad mein yaad aayengi <laughs> no, but ha uh, you know so like it's just these the experiences these memories that you keep creating and hopefully you'll like um give a reason for uh, you you'll change things for the better hopefully people will remember you for the good things बस बट हाँ ऐसे यार बहुत मतलब इट जस्ट आई थिंक इट जस्ट ओपन यू अप एज अ पर्सन टू अ होल वर्ल्ड ऑफ एक्सपीरियंसेस एंड डिफरेंट थिंग्स या ओनली यू टॉक्ड अबाउट दिस वंडरफुल थिंग एंड आई आई कीप सेइंग दिस ऑन एडम यूजिंग दैट दीज आर ऑल टॉपिक्स फॉर अनदर पॉडकास्ट बट ऑल अबाउट एक्सपीरियंसेस और ट्राई नहीं करोगे तो होगा कैसे आई रैंडमली थॉट ऑफ दिस क्यूट लिटिल सीन फ्रॉम लाइफ इन अ मेट्रो Uh, where konkana sen sharma ko irfan khan gives that long monologue and he says ki uh, koi nayi gaadi khareed ke ghar mein rakh loge aur nikal hi nahi rahe ho ke bahar nikalenge to red signal aa jayega to kab nikaloge gaadi nikalo yeah yeah now yeah. signal to aayega hi nikalo then uh, now post covid to ye aur lagta hai na yaar because you you just like covid has brought up um, like you know this this uh, like The, how frivolous uh, life can be, you know. Uh, it's just brought that to the surface. I feel that it's any. I mean, you don't know what what can happen any time to whoever. So, and you know, all those cliches or whatever forwards, yeah. usko practice. You know, which we keep getting like 
we call up tell people who you love that you love them pick up the phone on your parents you know pick up, give your parents a hug give your friends a hug whatever ye hum uh, ye hum itna we talk so much about it on social media on whatsapp and whatever but we barely practice it you know and i just feel ki karo na yaar yahi to if i don't uh, if i can't tell my best friend that i love her then kya kya best kis baat ki best friend you know and yeah love ha since you mentioned the uh, social media let's go there because we've mentioned social media when we discussed feminism when we discussed people when we discussed experience experiences because uh, unfortunately or fortunately we lived in a time we live in a time now where uh, things don't even count as experience if you haven't posted about it on social media yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh, i want to talk to you about role of social media in our life your life more so as an actor because uh, uh, as an actor or as a uh, as a public figure it it has a your viewpoint or your uh, uh, your relationship with social media will be very different than say um, any of our friends who are not a public figure we sometimes you know some of us might say that this is actually work for us because it mm. sometimes legit um, again fortunately or unfortunately impacts our work mm. uh, there are some extreme example of that can be and i'm sure you've also heard about uh things where people uh, uh casting is done basically casting is yeah casting is happening through instagram yeah yeah so there are uh, so it obviously for actors and and public figures and influencers i'm trying to avoid that word because i don't like <laughs> uh but social media is part of our life so what do you use think manvi about uh, social media and in general about how people behave on media social media and how uh, what do you think as an actor what what does social media mean to you and so on so i actually kv i enjoy social media i genuinely enjoy social media and we've kind of grown up <coughs> along with group social media right like it came in front of us and as we were growing it was also growing and you know expanding or whatever to what it is today and it will grow further from uh, also uh, as we will as well but uh, to make me maza aata hai i genuinely enjoy putting up stories and posts and this and that uh, but but i so because it it's organic for me uh, there are times when i don't feel like also you know i don't feel like posting if i'm not feeling well if i'm just feeling whatever i don't i don't have anything to post main nahi ja rahi hu kahin bahar khane to main kis cheez ki photo dalu you know so uh, i'm i'm okay with that but but i'm constantly told that you know uh, because it's algorithm based you have to post regularly you have to do this which which becomes a bit of a problem for me uh, but otherwise i it comes fairly naturally to me i don't mind it i also really really um i uh, i i see so much positive uh, uh impact through social media in the sense that i mean of course there's connectivity and all of that but i feel there's so many artists or uh, you know people who i would have not known of had it not been for social media i wouldn't even know of there there's so many i follow a lot of uh, musicians i follow a lot of um, artists caricaturists or painters or photographers and i wouldn't have known of them uh, and they're people indian or outside of india or mujhe pata hi nahi lagta na i would have never been exposed to their work um, had i not uh, had internet not been there or social media not been there but what i about us particularly about coming to our a more specific thing of us being in this industry i feel um abhi kya hai na anybody who has internet uh, and has a phone camera can is a content creator right like and every you you are putting out content you are curating content whatever it may be and um, and and if if you find your audience you have a great following as well uh, so now to call them influencers even me i'm saying don't hame ab kya hai na stardom khatam ho gayi hai right like the it's the that stardom uh, the reason why asharuk amir and salman were uh, were stars or amitabh bachchan or whatever was because they were inaccessible abhi kya hai hum log aap directly baat kar sakte ho mujhse and i enjoy that i like that i like i love talking to uh, some of my uh, like i don't want to call them fans but follows follows me need friends or whatever like people i know through the internet or whatever who uh, got in touch with me because of my work and stuff uh, because meko maza aata hai yaar mujhe lagta hai ki ha ye no i want to normalize people us you know hum bhi normal log hain hame bhi like i remember when the first wave came covid ka uh, it coincided with fomo shorts ka promotion season 2 ka 
सो हमारा बहुत ऐसा इंटरव्यूज हो रहे थे और ये वो है वो एंड दैट वाज बैंक इन द बिगिनिंग लाइक मार्च में हुआ था लॉकडाउन एंड फर्स्ट वीक ऑफ अप्रैल और समथिंग और वी स्टार्टेड प्रमोटिंग द शो एंड पीपल वर आस्किंग अस कि ओके कैन यू गिव अस सम टिप्स ऑन हाउ टू डील विद द लॉकडाउन एंड आई वाज लाइक यार हमारा भी पहला लॉकडाउन है यू नो हम भी वी आर आल्सो डीलिंग विद एंजाइटी एंड वी आर आल्सो हाउ हाउ डज इट How do you think that we are pros at lockdowns? You know, doctors को नहीं पता क्या हो रहा है अभी तो मतलब it's so new. Uh, and should you be asking us for medical advice? Should you? I'm not a therapist. I can't tell you how to not be anxious. Uh, I can't tell you how to, uh, what to do to increase immunity. You know, I mean, you can't be asking me uh, such pertinent questions. And then if I say something wrong, तुम चढ़ जाओगे. You know, कि अगर मैंने बोल दिया कि अरे वैक्सीन बेकार है मतलब मतलब Um, I, I, it's it's so i mean it's i i i just think that it's not okay now now to have uh, to put so much responsibility so to say for the lack of a better word on people just because they have a certain following mm-hmm. i'm think but matlab hame nahi you ask me questions about acting you ask me questions about what are you watching uh, yeah what would i recommend um uh, to watch or what would i um i mean you know just like talk to me about my things or or you can ask me about opinions my opinions are not facts nobody's opinions are facts you know we have to understand that you we can't look at a sharukh khan to tell us about uh, or an amitabh bachchan to tell us about polio drops mm-hmm. uh, we should know that polio drops are important and you know and and of course it an amitabh bachchan as a polio uh, polio um, drive ka ambassador will help it spread more mm-hmm. no doubt because if you see amitabh bachchan on a poster you'd be like hey what's he talking about and you you might read up on that but don't do it because amitabh bachchan is telling you to do it because it's the right thing to do you know so तो वही मुझे लगता है यार वो वाला प्रेशर मुझे नहीं चाहिए एंड आई डोंट बिकॉज वी आर वी आर ऑल नॉर्मल ह्यूमन बींग्स वी विल ऑल मेक मिस्टेक्स वी विल ऑल डू ग्रेट थिंग्स सो आई थिंक वो एक खत्म हो जाना चाहिए लाइक डिफ्यूजन ऑफ दिस स्टार स्टार वाला थिंग वी आर ऑल नॉर्मल ये हमारा काम है आई दिस इज माई आई लिटरली आई दिस इज माई जॉब I enjoy it thoroughly. Uh, that might be the only difference uh, from uh, between me and another person who doesn't enjoy his or her job. But uh, but हाँ मुझे भी छुट्टी मुझे भी मजा आता है जब pack up होता है कि घर जा रहे हैं छुट्टी हो गई you know um, and कि um, yeah yeah if I'm going on a vacation or if I have a boyfriend and I I also want to I want to cuddle with my boyfriend in a restaurant but I can't you know because कोई photo लेके डाल देगा वहाँ पे और ये वो so just मुझे लगता है रिलैक्स यार पीपल एक तो इतना क्यों क्यों घुसना है किसी की लाइफ में यार क्यों अपना करो ना एंजॉय दे सो मच दे सो मच टू डू हम अपनी लाइफ में कितना कुछ है करने को विच वी डोंट एंड अप डूइंग एंड वी यू नो लाइक समथिंग एज स्मॉल एज कितनी शोज हैं देखने के लिए लाइक आई हैव अ लिस्ट ऑफ शोज एंड फिल्म एंड बुक्स टू रीड एंड फिल्म टू वॉच शोज टू वॉच जो खत्म ही नहीं हो रहे यार वो बढ़ते ही जा रहे बढ़ते ही जा रहे हैं आई एम लाइक वॉट द हेल्प हाउ डू आई वॉट लाइक चेक थिंग्स ऑफ दिस तो क्यों किसी की और की लाइफ में घुसना है और या एंड उस पर कॉमेंट करना है और एक तो दिस नेगेटिव कॉमेंट्स आई डोंट अंडरस्टैंड बिकॉज इफ यू डोंट लाइक समथिंग आई तो हटो ना हट चले जाओ ना वहां से मतलब स्क्रोल स्क्रोल फॉरवर्ड लाइक व्हाई डू यू हैव टू गो मतलब तुमने देखा तुम्हें कुछ सूझा लाइक यू थॉट ऑफ समथिंग नेगेटिव देन यू गॉन एंड टाइप इट एंड देन यू मतलब क्यों 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 मतलब जस्ट बी लाइक ओके नहीं पसंद आया बट अगर कंजेक्टिवली नहीं पसंद आता है देन अनफॉलो मतलब इट्स एज सिंपल एज दैट एंड आई फील सो देर दैट थिंग अगेन इसमें मैं साइकोलॉजी डालूंगी थोड़ा देर दिस थिंग स्किनर बी एफ स्किनर करके एक था हु यूज टू आई मीन इट्स अ वेरी नॉर्मल थिंग कि वेन यूर लर्न वेन यू आर लर्निंग अ न्यू बिहेवियर बिहेवियर पैटर्न इट कैन आई मीन इट्स ऑल्सो पैबलोवियन इन मेनी वेज दैट यू कैन सो इफ आई वॉन्ट यू टू सो हम जैसे बच्चों के साथ करते हैं ना वेन दे डू समथिंग गुड वी रिवॉर्ड ना लाइक आई टू रिस्पॉन्ड टू ट्रोल्स ओके आई टू बिकॉज मैं भिड़ जाती थी आई टू बी लाइक तुम कैसे बोल सकते हो मुझे तुम कौन हो एंड यू नो ऑल ऑफ दैट एंड देन आई रियलाइज दैट मोस्ट ऑफ देम वुड बी लाइक ओ माई गॉड थैंक यू मैम यू नो थैंक यू फॉर रिस्पॉन्डिंग and then i realized ki yaar all what i was doing essentially was assuming that a response from me is a reward okay on based on the assumption that let's call it uh, like it's an it's it, attention from me is an award is a reward for them so what i'm doing is when somebody is writing something negative i am responding 
एंड सो एक तो मैं उसको ये सिखा रही हूँ कि करो यू नो अच्छी बात है ये नेगेटिव लिखना एंड जो अच्छा लिख रहे हैं उनको मैं ये सिखा रही हूँ कि तुम्हारे अच्छे से कुछ नहीं होता मैं रिस्पॉन्ड तो उस पर करूंगी सो नाउ आई आई वेरी कॉन्शियसली मेरा बहुत मन करता है अभी भी आई एम वेरी क्लोज टू मेकिंग अ फेक प्रोफाइल एंड रिस्पॉन्डिंग टू दो ट्रोल्स बिकॉज मैं अपने उससे नहीं करना चाहती बट आई होल्ड माई सेल्फ बैक एंड आई रिस्पॉन्ड ओनली टू पॉजिटिव कॉमेंट्स बिकॉज because i feel that's that i mean you know then i'm enabling that behavior and i'm i'm hopefully discouraging the other behavior uh, of course wo just discourage ho rahe nahi ho rahe mujhe nahi pata wo mere pe mere ko chhod ke kisi aur ke us pe ja ke likhenge ya nahi bhi kya maybe they'll get even more negative and even uh, whatever to so, um, matlab ye these are just chota chota things that i i deem correct and i can, like keep planting in different ways i can yeah very relatable especially the last part um because you know uh this is such a basic way right like rewarding good behavior like i learned it when i started raising a dog you know yeah. <laughs> that's what arya taught me that you know so very simple like do something good be rewarded do something bad be punished uh, and punishment in social media is to be ignored yeah. like being ignored is their punishment because yeah. Yeah. they are all just seeking attention and i can like also in life also i feel indifference is the is the biggest uh, pun, i mean you know when you're just indifferent towards some, nobody wants to be ignored right nobody um so even the even the most even the most brutal of crimes are committed if you go back to the psyche or whatever is because they lack i mean they lack they've lacked a certain uh, amount of love in their life or or compassion in their life and that's why they've become the people they have so it it all boils down to that but uh, ha but ign- ignoring somebody or showing like being indifferent towards somebody's actions and behavior is the best thing you, you can do and what you said incidentally is something that i have personally always followed like even on this channel random chicken room every premier ever i have only responded to positive comments yeah yeah <laughs> every like out of 20 comments there'll be one troll who'll come try to seek attention brutally ignored and he'll yeah. leave yeah yeah okay uh, man we i would now go to our last uh, topic for the day which uh, is is a topic i know which is very close to your heart and we talked about social media we talked about a lot of clutter we talked about acting and like life uh, but i want to calm everything down and now talk about spirituality uh, i know that uh, you uh, are someone who has not just uh, sort of studied or experienced not just one but several different uh, ways and routes of um, spiritual uh, sort of how do i put it um, uh, calmness or school or, or different experiments i know you've done vipassana and you are a big advocate of vipassana so one friend of mine used to keep he had gone to vipassana two three times and he used to keep saying and i was always very scared ki yaar 10 din baat nahi karna aisa kaise like how can i not talk for 10 days uh so and but i enrolled matlab finally at some point i enrolled and as the date was drawing nearer i was freaking out and i was like you know and phir na mujhe like random thoughts i was like um i was like what if i come back a different person and what if i can't act anymore <laughs> you know like um what if i i mean the reason why i can act right now is because my emotion i'm fairly emotional as a person so i can tap into whatever emotion i want to uh, portray so what if i become so calm that i can't tap into my emotions only like then what happens and am i going to fuck this up for myself or whatever and everybody was like aisa nahi hoga matlab you matlab people who went to the person they were like ki uh, firstly it's you're not going to come out a different person you will stay the same and it's only gradually you'll see the difference or you may not or whatever and i was like चलो ओके ठीक है सो द सो वेन आई वेंट आई वेंट विद द सोल पर्प अच्छा ऑल्सो आई हैड हर्ड स्टोरीज फ्रॉम पीपल नो बडी आई नो हैज कम्प्लीटेड इट इन द फर्स्ट गो पीपल हैव गॉन फर्स्ट टाइम देन कम लेफ्ट इट मिड वे इन कम बैक एंड देन सेकेंड टाइम में कम्प्लीट किया है तो माई सोल पर्पज बॉज की दस दिन तो निकाल के आऊंगी मैं यू नो लाइक आई विल फिनिश इट फॉर टेन डेज एंड स्टफ एंड देन आई कम and i thought it was so again i didn't i didn't change as a person uh, immediately or something even otherwise like on the surface of it i'm still super talkative i'm still very um uh, very reactive uh, i mean the reason why <laughs> i wanted to go for vipassana was because i was a very reactive person uh, like very react aise sadak pe chalte chalte mujhe you know in i remember once in fact i remember that very clearly i was going from here to bandra i had to go for a meeting and i was in a cab and 
एंड आई एम जस्ट लाइक मतलब सामने से कोई आया आम लाइक हाँ ना चढ़ा दो इसके ऊपर मतलब कैसे चलते हैं लोग अरे कैसे चला रहे हैं फिर कुछ हुआ एंड देन मतलब कि आई सॉ वन बेगर एंड आई स्टार्ट क्राइंग देन आई सॉ समथिंग आई वाज लाइक ओ माय गॉड इन अ स्पैन ऑफ फोर्टी फाइव मिनट्स वन राइड आई हैव फेल्ट एंगर आई हैव फेल्ट आई हैव फेल्ट पिटी आई हैव फेल्ट सो मेनी डिफरेंट इमोशंस एंड आई कॉन्ट बी एट द मर्सी ऑफ एक्सटर्नल फैक्टर्स लाइक आई हैव टू बी इन कंट्रोल एंड यू नो वट एवर दैट्स हाउ इट काइंड ऑफ स्टार्टेड um the vipassana thing and i said okay let me go for this and ye wo wo and um, so what vipassana teaches you which i thought was i mean again it might sound like something we've heard so much and it's it's not such a whatever you know thing but i was blown away which is that everything that we think about uh is either past or future right we are constantly bogging ourselves down with ये हुआ था वी आर टॉकिंग यू नो कि अरे आई विश आई सेट दिस इन दैट कॉन्वर्जेशन अरे आई विश आई सेट दिस इन दैट आर्ग्यूमेंट और और वी आर गेटिंग नॉस्ट एल जेक अबाउट समथिंग फ्रॉम आर पास्ट और वी आर वरिंग अबाउट द वरिंग और वट एवर थिंकिंग अबाउट द फ्यूचर कि अच्छा कल पार्टी में जाना है मैं क्या पहनूंगी अच्छा कल इंटरव्यू है ये मैं मैं कल से पूरा आई वॉज थिंकिंग अबाउट दिस थिंग ओनली दिस दिस आर दिस थिंग एंड आई थिंक अरे क्या बोलूँ क्या ये यू नो वट एवर वट शुड है वट शुड है whatever so um so but we're rarely in the present and when you again it sounds very cliche mm-hmm. uh, but when you're abhi like if i i haven't even noticed that yahan se thandi hawa aa rahi hai i haven't even noticed that it's silent mm-hmm. there's no there's no like sound stimulus mm-hmm. there's no um i haven't noticed what i i, I haven't even noticed smell kuch is there a smell around me so we have to at all times just in terms of our sensory um sensory exposure mm-hmm. we have to be present we have to um and then and and that thing of uh, i mean the term they use is anicca which means impermanence ki abhi main jo bol rahi hu ye past ho gaya like i took this breath it's gone this moment is gone this moment is gone so it's so everything i mean it 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 is it 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 is a it is a branch of buddhism so it just talk about detachment and uh, you know all of that so um, so yeah to so positive and negative sab jayega <laughs> you know i mean it's all it will all go it's uh, it's very easy to say um, i know i mean when when something bad happens you don't get over it or whatever or something good happens you tend to get attached to it and stuff but it's all part and i mean it's just and it's everything is impermanent every there is nothing nothing in this world that is permanent and that just like keep reminding yourself that and i just abhi meko i want to go again for a second round because first one like i said i was only focusing on completing the the 10 days um i was also uh, very excited it was new to me right so i was a lot of it was just uh, a lot of the experiences were just like oh my god oh my god oh my god now that i know uh, i i i want to go now ready and better prepared and just then see what happens or uh, i was also very scared ki pata nahi kya ho jayega <laughs> you know kya, i don't know what will come to the surface uh, what if it taps into my subconscious and like it just like something terrible unveils itself and you know then what am i going to do uh, but aisa kuch nahi hua nothing nothing majorly dramatic happened but um, yeah it was great fun and what it does is basically it just re- removes all your stimuli stimuli right because the reason why you don't talk the reason why you don't have a phone the reason why you do, you can't read you can't um uh, i mean so there's no new thought mm-hmm. so you're just stuck with from here to here whatever is going on in your head whatever you're feeling whatever to shuru mein first two three days up you know you may react to things you may think things whatever phir then you then you're out it it's it's out of you then you are just left with what is re- what is really you you know after the f- first 4 5 days uh, because there's no new thought that's come in mm. and to kahan kahan se matlab i kuch aayega hi nahi to aap you just keep recycling that which will also be done then you'll be done away with that you know and then what so it's that is quite uh, like fascinating for me i recommend i recommend it to everybody i think everybody should do it first now once in their life wow but the one thing i most like relate to manvi uh, everything that you said was the whole present thing and the whole fact that you said that it all sounds so cliche and that's so true most of the literally life changing lessons are very cliche ah. you know sometimes when you tell someone that you know how did your life change and while saying also you realize that yaar ye hum bachpan se sun rahe 
<laughs> but still they change your life and i'll give you my instance there was a phase in my life a couple of years back which was i consider like a really bad phase and uh, now that you when you were talking about it i was thinking of that phase where i was constantly just talking about my past Mm-hmm. and what will happen to me in future that yep, th- yep. those are the only two topics every close friend i used to meet and i met this friend once and i was talking to her and she said again something so cliche but it changed my life she said kv and we were sitting in her living room types and she said take a pause and she said you know what ye jo hum log baith ke baat kar rahe you and i right now you are talking i am talking this is a room we are sitting here you know this is the only thing which is real Yeah. Everything else that you're talking about does not exist. It's yeah, it's yeah, it's imagined or it's yeah. in the past. It's a memory or yeah, yeah. Like, Man, this is such a simple thought. <laughs> But she said everything, all the thing that you're talking about has already happened. It does not exist, and all the things you're worrying about has not. This is the only real thing right now. This is the only truth right now that this this thing, and that changed my life. Oh man! But thank you, Manvi, uh, for a very, very enriching ex- uh, conversation, um, no. as expected. Thank you so much. Uh, now we come to our uh, the fun segment, which is the rapid fire segment. As uh, all the audience members would know, this is not a controversy. This is most just so that we get to talk about things that we haven't talked about. Uh, so essentially, Manvi, I'll be asking you questions. You answer without thinking, and then we'll go back to each of your answer, and you can elaborate for a minute or two. Okay? Cool. Are you ready? Yeah, I think okay. best TVF video of all time. Video or show? Show slash anything that they've linked on YouTube. Pictures. Pictures. Okay. Favorite movie of all time. ये मैंने सोचा था but कि मैं क्या आंसर दूँ? Revolutionary Road. Okay. Favorite book of all time. Sorry, I I thought I'll ask you this: fiction, non-fiction. any anything anything favorite book sapiens favorite indian web series now you've already said pictures so you'll have to say something else oh um uh, uh them boxer shorts kaun sa hai wo uh, better life online oh oh thank you uh favorite restaurant that you've been to oh big chill best thing about delhi <laughs> big chill no no uh, um, um shopping best thing about mumbai people favorite holiday destination that i want to go to or have been to have been to have been to uh, oh pehlgam kashmir favorite tv show of all time Shit's Creek. Okay. Favorite actor of all time. Actor, male, female actor, actress. Favorite actor. Uh, Kate Winslet and Co- Co- uh, Konkana Sen Sharma. Nice. Okay, let's give. Let's go back to each of your answers. Oh, favorite, that- huh? Favorite TV or video slash uh, TV or product, so to speak. And you picked a series that has been picked earlier. Uh, no, this uh, why I talked about permanent roommates. But pictures, which you of course were a part of, and I'm a huge fan of pictures. I keep saying um, to everyone. Uh, I remember uh, there was a time I saw picture alone. Then I saw it with so many friends. <laughs> then I saw it with my boss while commuting from Ford to uh, Thane. Uh, and uh, he felt that I'm boss ko hint de raha hu ki main nokri chhodna chahta. <laughs> and i kept saying nahi nahi there is no subtle message this is just a great web series and uh, one small instance i'll tell you manvi because you are here and because you also talked about blf one of my like all time favorite life moments is this okay i was going for a shoot a small short film type uh, in mira road okay and uh, i reached and i had read this script that this is two characters two friends theek hai so i reached and uh, i said ki ye dusra kaun play kar and someone said uh, navin kasturi And I said, "Oh, must. Are my pictures? Ka, very big fan. Oh, yar. And they were like, "Oh, great, great, great." And I'm walking out uh, to go down to have chai or something. 
and lift opens and parallelly same conversation is happening in the lift okay where an ad and navin kasuri are coming up and navin says ye dusra mera dost kon play kar raha hai kumar aur aur yaar main blf ka bahut bada fan hu the lift opens and we meet each other like, oh fuck we can go blf and he i told him ki dekho i'm not saying because you are acting because i'm a legit huge fan i showed him some stuff and he said mai bhi tere liye nahi bol raha he showed me his old tweet when he said ki anyone who hasn't seen better life foundation has to watch it it's the best web series in india i'm like hey yeah, yeah. anyway sorry over to you man why do you think pictures is the best thing that you've seen from tvs or otherwise um yeah i gen ek to when pictures was made there weren't that many web series right they even as a format even as a concept it was people weren't sold on it i mean they was they used to still look down upon the internet and um because it, they were like ye kya youtube ke liye kya bana rahe hain you know all of that i being one of them mm-hmm. and um and i remember when um this when pictures ka thing was happening and uh i and i knew these guys right so i used to keep going to their office and hang there and evo and there was just this um this very like very collaborative energy there was something you know palpable and kuch nahi tha bhi they only knew that it is about these four guys who start their own startup and bas it i mean they just had a very skeletal structure in mind nothing had been fleshed out but i still remember that the that energy was so palpable and i was like yeah i want to be a part of it somehow like i want to do this because i want to be part of a, of this group and this this um, collaboration whatever this is you know and um, and yeah and then then when <coughs> when i saw it uh, you know and i ek to when i read the script i was i loved it i loved that there were people jo normal baatein kar rahe the you know they weren't talking up dialogue bazi nahi hai koi aur jo hai bhi to wo hum jab hum jaise real life mein bhi kabhi dialogue maar dete na you know it was that kind of dialogue bazi if at all um, the problems were so uh, familiar you know they were so normal they weren't like um, ki wo uh, and for shreya like i felt ki because main chhod chuki thi kevi i had stopped going for auditions because i was like ye nahi ho raha hai uh, because i was only getting a certain type of whatever uh, parts or then if i went in for tv then they were they were that, like there were lines that i couldn't mouth i was like ye main kaise bolu ki mera pati mera parmeshwar hai aur main uske matlab ye main nahi bol sakti ye sab and uh, and then suddenly shreya was this one character who was normal you know who who spoke like us who had and everybody like in the in that show is normal and stuff so mujhko tha and then i i saw them shooting matlab kaise kaise shoot kiya yaar unhone matlab yahan se aise table ke niche se aisa just to give it a long matlab you know with in those very um limited resources they have made it look spectacular and no i'm not saying just visually it's it's the content it the, it's the content that kind of pulled it through you know the the show uh, and us time pe jab it wasn't uh, like not everybody now to every second person you meet in andheri is making a web series or whatever so us time to bilkul hi wo tha yaar so i i i that uh, full marks for that uh, and i really think it was such a great great show to have come out uh, of tvf favorite movie of all time why do you think you picked revolutionary road over every other movie ye to matlab uh, बहुत सारी मूवीज हैं पर आई थिंक मेरे को अगेन आई लव केप इन स्लेट एंड आई लव एंड ऑफ कोर्स आई लव लियोनार्डो डी केप यू एंड द टू ऑफ देम टुगेदर इन दिस फिल्म आर मैजिक एंड इसमें के भी एक सीन है कपल ऑफ सीन्स आर आई जस्ट दैट वर सो ब्यूटिफुली लाइक फ्रॉम जस्ट सो गुड सो आई डोंट इफ यू सीन दिस फिल्म इट इज अबाउट uh this this couple that is uh, you know they're living a suburban life and they're working he's working and this and that and it's just something that they hadn't planned they thought ki hum thode ek do saal yahan pe rehke kaam baam karenge then we'll we'll earn shit loads of money and move to france and wahan pe we live our lives and you know but life happens you know and they get stuck there and they don't even realize it and one of them does and you know whatever and that's the conflict so um isme shuru mein ek scene hai that he's going he's traveling from his place to work and it's showing like it's like a very mundane uh, thing for him wo train mein baitha hai and, uh, and he opens his uh, opens a kya bolte hai paper newspaper and and you know you pan out gradually and you see there are other men sitting in the same posture with with the same kind of suit and ca- whatever and then he he shuts it all of them shut it together they put their thing down and it's just it's just the thing of that fear of anonymity the fear of being lost in the crowd and when you think you are special and you're going to do big things and great things and just then suddenly when you realize that no i'm not i mean i'm just i'm one in a billion people you know and 
I'm leading the same life and what happens to the dreams of uh, these people and you know all of that. So I thought that was conveyed beautifully in that one shot. Uh, similarly, there's one scene where, spoiler alert, uh, Kate Winslet uh, is, gets pregnant, okay? And she doesn't want to have a kid. Uh, because her thing is that if we have a child, then we will go back again. Because then we'll again continue. Uh, we would, you, you know, you would want, you would, he gets a job promotion and he says, you know, it's amazing. We'll uh, do this. Uh, I'll get the promotion and you get the child. I mean, we'll get the child also. When it's three years old, then we'll leave. And she's like, I know we won't. Because then three, three four years, it's going to be schooling. Hogi. Schooling will be paise honge. Phir college. Phir ye, phir wo. It's never ending. And she aborts the child herself. when she's alone and it's a it's just a close up it's just a close up but we know as audience ki wo about and it's and it's it's not that we don't even know for i mean it's just beautifully shot yeah like it's just her close she's looking out the window and we just uh, like she's just standing and she starts crying or whatever there's unhone kuch aur dikhaya hi nahi hai yet you know as audience what's happening in that scene and and cut to then matlab then they show like drops of blood on the on the floor and that's supposed to be your know, like it it tells you that okay she's aborted the child or whatever or she's in the process of aborting and stuff so um yeah and i think kate winslet is just magic on screen so then we move to your favorite book and you picked sapiens yeah wo so, honestly samne padi hui hai to mujhe isliye uh, whatever yaad aaye but otherwise um non fiction mein to definitely sapiens hai mm-hmm. for sure and i'm generally a big fan of uh, harari uh, i list i've heard or i've stalked him i have heard all his uh, talks and interviews and watched uh, his podcast and everything um but uh, but ha i think matlab it's just very thorough and it's very interesting it's a good read i think everybody should read it uh, especially <coughs> non readers uh, or people who don't enjoy fiction too much should read uh, मैंने एक्चुअली आई रिसेंटली गॉट इन टू नॉन फिक्शन बाय रिसेंटली आई मीन लाइक इन द लास्ट थ्री फोर इयर्स उससे लाइक मोस्टली आई बीन फिक्शन ओनली फिक्शन देव बीन सम ग्रेट बुक्स दो देर इज वन बुक कॉल्ड प्लीज रीड इफ यू कैन रीडिंग लॉलिता इन तेहरान विच आई रीड रियली लाइक देर इज सेंस ऑफ एन एंडिंग विच आई रियली लाइक बाकी वो वो सब तो है ही मूरा कामी एंड मार्केज की बुक्स तो है ही वो सब then my favorite answer you picked your favorite indian web series as better life foundation please talk about mm-hmm. so after the office and modern family this mockumentary format had become very um, i mean everybody wanted to do it right but um, and i know i have in fact i've i've uh, acted in a mockumentary format thing which never took off uh, but i know it's one of the hardest things to do right because you're breaking the fourth wall but you're breaking it in a way that you're not really breaking if you don't switch to you so now you you have to break the fourth wall as anirban only not as kv you can't suddenly become uh, whatever kv and so firstly it's a very tricky format and to be able to uh, successfully crack it uh, that in itself is a big win i think okay and wo nahi kiya zyada logon ne and there were there were i there were times Uh, and it's like the steep karel thing na like uh, or or the uh, even in the office or whatever um like just like you just the, the just one look is yeah. that's the joke that's yeah. it it doesn't even have to be it's just one sheepish yeah. look to the camera and it's so hard ek to comedy i think is such a hard thing to do and um, like i have tremendous respect for people who do uh, comedy well you know but, because it's also the easiest to fuck up also <laughs> you know because it's just a, it's a very fine line uh, between like uh, screwing it up and doing it well uh, so people who can uh, tread that line well uh, are mere liye matlab they are fabulous actors uh, and i think everyone in better life foundation uh, it's almost like they hand picked <laughs> for that for their parts you know and they're uh, and and it's so and again it's very it's very normal right like it's very um kuch isme badi baatein nahi ho rahi hai kuch there's no camera angle and there's no there's none of that tam jham um it's just the script it is the script and the performance the delivery of that script it's the script and the performances script and the performances and again you can see that it's a low budget like or a, or a controlled budget uh production 
but you really don't need more than that you know if you have a solid script with you if you have a solid set of people with you you don't you don't need anything else and this is like a great example of that and i remember somebody bahut pehle wohi jab aaya tha tab someone had said are ye dekho ye dekho and uh, and i was like oh youtube and you know what <laughs> and i but I, but i saw it now ki yaar kitna kaun hai ye log ye kitna sahi banaya hai yaar aisa kaam karna hai you know it was always about it was always like i want to work with these people and Still cafe. Uh, why? What, do you have any memories uh, like like most Delhi people, or it's just you genuinely felt this is your best? Restaurant? I mean, the food is great, yeah. but it's not the best. I mean, it's not that you say better than you have. It's mostly nostalgic. I uh, mean, the 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 reason for picking Big Chill also easiest first thought that came. I felt because I I panicked when you said restaurant. I said Bombay or uh, Delhi. Then I was like, okay, wait, Bombay. I'm so I said, okay, fuck it, Big Chill. <laughs> you know, so it was like that. Uh, but ha, uh, Big Chill. I have memories because I discovered Big Chill. Okay, mm. in my circle of friends, it used to be a uh, uh, an ice cream parlor uh, before it became a restaurant. And my my bus stop was there. School bus used to come there, and वहाँ से walk करके मैं अंदर जाती थी घर की तरफ. So yeah. one day I stopped and I I saw I was like oh this looks like an interesting place and they had all these ice and they had all these fancy ice cream flavors like not just your chocolate and strawberry and you know they had chocolate chip cookie dough they had uh, mud pie Mississippi mud pie and all these things and I was like so I told my friends and I told them not to tell others I said you know because then it will become crowded and become whatever go all the cheese and then so we used to go there for ice cream then they this was in East of Kailash. Mm-hmm. And they uh, then they uh, expanded to a uh, like proper rest with like food like main mains and starters or whatever a continental food and uh, then we started liking that and then of course they then of course the big chill became big chill and you know uh, and they used to have these um, you could they used to have like a jukebox thing like uh, I, I mean you could you could they had a list of songs and you could uh, request songs and you could tell them that uh, like. Album twenty two, track three, and you know this and that. So we also had like our um, like choice of songs ready. कि ये ये आज ही सुनेंगे. Then we used to play games because it's fully the decor is fully yeah. movie posters, right? Mm-hmm. So we used to play movie games वहाँ पे कि अच्छा uh, one of the films here, uh, and you know then we would give let's see random but uh, <laughs> good stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, best thing about Delhi, uh, you said shopping. Hmm. Uh, You want to talk about shopping in Delhi? Um, so I think maybe it's because I'm more familiar with places mm-hmm. in Delhi. Um, so I know where to go to shop and stuff. But I feel, uh, but I do. I, I even the the stuff that comes uh, that that uh, is available in Delhi markets, I think, is better mm-hmm. in, in general than Bombay. Uh, uh, I feel in Bombay, it's more um, Bollywood inspired. Mm-hmm. A lot of the clothes are Bollywood inspired. Whereas in Delhi, it's it's a mix of every. Like I remember, you know those things that we now call Goa pants. Mm. Uh, I don't know if you know what I'm talking about. Uh, they're like super crotchy dro- uh, drop crotch pants. They are called Goa pants. बोलते बोलते हैं उसको. तो वो जब हम स्कूल में थे ना वो तब वहाँ पे इन द तिबेटन मार्केट एंड सरोजनी नगर मार्केट जनपद एंड ऑल पे मिलता था वो एंड आई फाउंड दैम वेरी कूल बिकॉज आई वॉज यार ये क्या यू नो देर वॉज समथिंग वेरी डिफरेंट और वट एवर एंड देन दे सेट ये मनाली से आया है और वट एवर एंड देन वेन वी वी टू गो टू धर्मशाला में क्लॉटगंज तो वहाँ पे भी वी सो बहुत मिल रहा है और उसके मतलब दो साल बाद they became popular in bombay and goa and everything so um, and De- delhi is I, i i mean not many people know this but delhi is the fashion capital of india people assume it's bombay but it's actually delhi uh, the fashion capital because um, most of the a lot of the fa- big fashion designers and brands and everything originate there or they have their uh, first offices there and stuff so i um, and i like the range that you have available in uh, Delhi, because uh, you have your sorbet. Ka to- uh, maybe you will get a good top. And 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 you will get a
एक लाख में भी अच्छा टॉप मिल जाएगा यू नो सो यू हैव दिस होल रेंज एंड एंड द शॉपिंग एक्सपीरियंस लाइक बॉम्बे में इट्स इधर इट्स इधर योर हिल रोड और योर और योर मॉल्स there's nothing in between like and delhi mein sab hai matlab delhi mein aapka hill road jaisa bhi you have a sarojini also you have a central market lajpat nagar also you have an m block also you have the malls also you have it's just again like i said maybe it's because i'm familiar with these things uh, so i know and i love shopping and haggling in delhi yaar i just love it i go to i go to khan market i go to um, like m block and i'm just like nahi nahi अरे मैं आती हूँ भैया यहाँ पे रोज सेफ टू आई हेव कम बैक एट टू थ्री इन द नाइट विदाउट वरिंग इन पब्लिक ट्रांसपोर्ट लाइक आई टेकन अ रिक्शा और अ कैब और समथिंग एंड नॉट वरिड अबाउट इनफैक्ट वॉट आई एम वरिड अबाउट इज मोर की एक्सीडेंट ना हो जाए यू नो भैया आपको नींद तो नहीं आ रही यू नो इट्स दैट इट्स नॉट की यू नो समी स्टार्ट फॉलोइंग यू और यू नो यूल सी एंड आई थिंक इट्स ऑल्सो बिकॉज यू सी you see women on the streets even at that time you know they you will see women walking or in the cars or rickshaws or whatever you know they are so it gives it gives me personally a sense of uh, feeling safe uh, you see cops um, bombay cops when you, like i genuinely feel a sense of relief when i see cops on the streets when i see naka bandis at night i'm like oh thank god <laughs> you know like this there's, there's a sense of uh, which is exactly what i think uh, the police force uh, ka, i mean it it is for our safety right so we should be uh, so it's uh, rightly so um also i feel because Bom- bombay is so bombay life is so hard right like uh, uh, everybody is working everybody is here to ma- earn a living to everybody struggling and uh, so nobody has time for uh, <laughs> for anything else so even the safety thing i think stems from there that you know kisi ke paas time hi nahi hai chhedne ka <laughs> you know no ki aur kyun lafde mein phasna you know they'll be like are mere meri 840 ki local nikal jayegi you know main kya chhedunga isko that kind i have had instances where somebody did do something and you know the rickshaw wala has got gotten off and fought with that person aur mujhe idea hi nahi hai i'm oblivious to it and the rickshaw wala is fighting on my behalf um so yeah and i uh, i hate to say it but i don't feel that in delhi uh, and definitely not anymore i mean i don't know whether now that contrast is just more stark uh, maybe pehle i was used to it so it was still um, <clears throat> pal- uh, palatable but ab to bilkul nahi hota yaar mujhse mujhe bahut i feel very nervous in delhi now mm-hmm. your favorite holiday destination you pick pehalgam Oh, this is I wanted to say like Greece, but that's my want to go to holiday destination. No, no, but places you've been to, you would pick Pahalga. So, uh, I've only been to Kashmir once, mm-hmm. and uh, which was very recently, like I think two thousand fourteen or fifteen, and uh, and after having heard stories about Kashmir my entire life and this and that, so uh, so obviously it was a big event in my life. Ki aare Kashmir ja rahe hain and all of that, and. Uh, and i remember it was um uh, it was very like um, apart from the this whole baggage of ki kahani suniye kashmir ke bare mein and oh returning to my roots and all of that uh, it was pretty underwhelming for me mm-hmm. and then we reached pehalgam okay mm-hmm. and i was just i thought it was so stunning it was just it was beautiful like mm-hmm. the stream and the mountain and just all of it come the weather was fantastic uh, and i was just like you know and, uh, my mind was blown like gulmarg i remember wasn't that exciting at least the time we went because it we went in the summer not in the winter so the 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 snow was thinning and aur wahan pe gulmarg mein bahut sare log the it was very crowded tourists and everything so we, i didn't enjoy that uh, shrinagar i enjoyed but again shrinagar was also very Uh, so my dad we had like people we had security with us and everything so um, so shrinagar mein thoda wo wala chakkar zyada tha that you know yahan nahi jaye jana ja sakte yahan jao ye nahi karna wo nahi karna so uh, and i was perpetually scared ki are kuch hona <laughs> and we were staying in uh, in a place which had been targeted 
um, because it was like a, it stood as a symbol of the cent central government or whatever. So uh, it used, it had been targeted in the past. So my, I was like, oh my God, I was not listening to the night and things like that. But Pahilgaon was just out of, I remember feel like getting that sense of, hey, wow. Okay, you know, agar kahi jannat hai, to idhar hai, idhar, you know, whatever. So I was like, yeah, yeah, is, iske liye bolte honge. So yeah. Wow. Favorite TV show of all, uh, of all time, you picked Sheets Creek. Why uh, would you rate Sheets Creek above other TV shows? Be only because I'm watching it these days uh, on a loop. Uh, so it's on my mind. But yeah. otherwise, I think it's a... Um, yeah, made a ho gaya. I'm done with friends, okay, uh, despite this being my phone cover and everything, but uh, uh, I used to be a friend's fan, now it just seems dated and you know, whatever. Uh, Shitrika, ek to ya, meko, I find it, a, it's very empathetic, yeah. if you notice, it's such an empathetic uh, show. There's, there's, um, like, there nobody in that show is a bad person, you know, yeah. nobody in that show is... Uh, is saying something negative but to say something negative they're all saying it because they might be yeah. like this they're, they're self-absorbed that's why they say certain things but they're not bad people nobody is a bad person there's no homophobia there's no i mean and it is a thing about couples that i mean uh about a homosexual couple is a big track there but there's nothing about homophobia because hey me homophobia it's such an idealistic yeah. beautiful uh setup uh the humor is very fresh it's canadian so it's a it's a American humor, I'm done with, <laughs> you know, uh, British humor also we've seen enough of. I mean, I like British humor, but you know, so this is like a mix of uh, both the world. Anyway, Canadian humor is a mix of both uh, American and British humor. I, uh, there's no laughter track, which is like insanely refreshing. Laughter track, I find very irritating now. Um, what else? And I like that they ended it timely. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I really, I enjoy it. I mean, there's, for, I give points for novelty always. Like Meko Fleabag, uh, I love as a show because again, it had a different voice. So I just want to add one point on Shit's Creek. And because we talked about this when you were talking about feminism and caste and everything, the one, like if I have to pick my most favorite thing about Shitsky about the about, uh, above the million things good about it is that uh, you talked about uh, homophobia and uh, you know a homosexual relationship the best part apart from lack of homophobia is that they don't also patronize it they don't address it only oh that's what it's like okay. a normal relationship yeah. that's the yeah. most beautiful part of it like no one comes in no no character comes and says things like oh no we should accept this oh nice oh yeah. Patrick yeah. oh David nothing it's yeah. just like oh Cool. They're singing romantic song. There's nothing overtly patronizing about it. And that's in, fact, the... in fact, if anything, uh, you like you think you oh it's going there, and yeah. then you hota, and then you ha it's it makes you yeah. question your own. And like I remember that thing where uh, when uh, Patrick uh, David's boyfriend, uh, yeah. when Patrick's parents are in town, and uh, and they by mistake tell them that they are dating. Yeah. And they're shocked. So they assume that, oh, fuck, they're going to have a problem with him being gay and him coming out of the closet like this and yevo. And then okay, they say, we don't have a problem with him being gay. We have a problem that why didn't he think he yeah. couldn't come and tell us? And then you're like, oh, shit. And, you know, you're you're like hitting yourself with that thing. Ki, uh, yeah. yeah, this is something. So, yeah, things like that. Yeah, Even relationships that they've shown and everything is so lovely. Yeah. Okay. And our last question was your favorite actor, actors because you said two uh for time kate winslet you already talked about her uh when you talked about revolutionary road and you talked about konkana sin sharma so let's end uh with a minute about these two amazing actresses or actors so i wanted to see uh kate winslet but then i thought i want to also name an indian <laughs> indian actor and uh and coco i really like as an as an actor because i think she uh uh from amu Amu, which was her first film. Uh, I, I, I actually, my first film of hers that I saw was 15 Park Avenue, which mm -hmm. was part of her course in college. Like we were told uh, by our teachers to go and watch it. And then we discussed it and everything. And I was like, I mean, she such flawless, effortless acting. Forget flawless, such effortless acting. Then I saw Mr. and Mrs. Ayer, where she had this, um, this like amazing accent, uh, you know, and I was like, yeah, kitna. And I really like people who work on these small, small things. I mean, of course, in Mr. and Mrs. Iyer, it was a big thing. Accent was a big part of the, of the characterization. But 
I'm seeing otherwise also. Uh, and she does these very small, small things, yeah, which mm. uh, which just which just adds so much to um, to any portrayal that she does. Um, I, ek bar main aise randomly I was talking to somebody and I, I and I said, uh, "Ha, tum mein bada ho rahe hai? something like that." Okay, and they said, "Oh my God, this is like uh, that." Uh, uh, hasi badi mehengi ho rahi hai in Omkara. And I was like, oh, she didn't, didn't even, I didn't even realize it. You know, she it was so subconscious. And Omkara, she had a very tiny part. Like, it wasn't such a big uh, role in terms of screen time. But uh, she just, like, uh, leaves this mark on you, yeah? Like, I, I genuinely really like uh, her performances. Thank you on uh, leaving Mark. Uh, thank you, Manu, <laughs> for leaving your mark on Random Musings. And thank you so much for being a part of the show. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. KV, I have to say that uh, uh, I know you've always wanted to do this. You've always wanted to uh, do in interview, whatever, like have this, a chat show kind of a thing. Yeah. And uh, and I've always wanted to be able to talk. <laughs> so I think this is the perfect setup. Yeah. But yeah. Yes, this was. And yeah, thank you uh, to the audience for your constant support to, towards the series and Quizzing with Comedians and everything else that's happening on Random Chicken Web. Please subscribe uh, to our channel. Please also uh, listen to us on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts. Uh, please review them there, rate it. Do your thing. Be nice. <laughs> Be nice. That's it. Thank you. <laughs>